Question. Who is the most dominant athlete in track and field history? Is it Usain Bolt, the man who was faster than anyone else in recorded history? Was it Jackie Joyner Kersey, who was arguably the greatest female all-around athlete to ever live? Or is it an athlete such as Elliot Kipchoge, who has proven himself as the undisputed GOAT of the marathon for close to a decade now? There can be a lot of arguments on this exact topic, as many athletes throughout the years have run incredible times in a very consistent manner. However, Arion Knighton also could be the most dominant athlete in the junior division, because what he has done in the 200 meters for the under 20 rankings is just unreal. Moving into 2023, Knighton had 9 out of the top 10 performances ever in this distance, with Usain Bolt's previous world junior record at 19.93 seconds breaking up Knighton's absolute unrelenting dominance in this top 10 list. It's been a pretty crazy couple of years seeing Arion Knighton rise to the absolute highest levels of the world rankings, and he ultimately won a world championship medal last season at just 18 years of age. Knighton's rise to global stardom has certainly been amazing. However, as 2023 is rapidly unfolding, we are seeing him only continue extremely consistent running, because even though he has only raced in the 200 meters twice this season, he has run under 20 seconds both times, and now he officially owns all of the top 10 all-time performances in the junior division in the men's 200 meters. Now, looking at this kind of dominance, it looks as though you're looking at an all-time Olympic medalist and world championship dominator. Arion Knighton's consistency in the junior division is completely unmatched, and even though Usain Bolt's 19.93 is tied at number 10 all-time, I'm not sure if there's any other sprinter who has ever done something like this, because it is very difficult to attain such an all-time performance, but to do it in this kind of consistent manner really pushes Knighton as one of the greatest junior athletes of all time in any sport, and I think that is basically undeniable at this point. Now, so far in 2023, Knighton has only raced twice, running a 19.95 on June 6th, and he also ran a 19.89 on June 2nd in the Florence Diamond League meeting. For both of these races, Knighton placed first, and I'm also very happy to see that in every single Diamond League Athletics meeting, we are seeing very organized splits down to the 10 meter intervals that have been organized by Omega Timekeepers. As an analyst, this makes me very happy, and if we take a closer look at his 19.89, we can see that Arion Knighton runs a very quick opening 100 as he split a time of 10.28 seconds through this opening 100 meters, and for his final 100 meters, he came out very strong once again with a final 100 of 9.61. Now, unlike last season, Knighton hasn't thrown down an insane time such as 19.49. However, I think that this is all part of his plan this year. It's great to see that he's running so consistent, and he certainly looks as though he's carrying his momentum throughout the season. And speaking of momentum, he will be competing in tomorrow's Diamond League meeting in Oslo, Norway, where he's once again slated to run in the 200 meters. Now, given his incredible consistency and his amazing performances, I think that he is once again going to throw down a sub-20 second clocking. He is really looking that consistent. And given what we're seeing across the globe, he very well could have the potential to run something under 19.8, if not even faster. I really do think it's possible. Now, competing in this 200 meter race is a very slammed field, and it's a lot of athletes we've seen so far in this year's Diamond League circuit. We've got athletes such as Joseph Von Belay, we've got Alexander Ogando from the Dominican Republic, and we also have Andre de Grasse from Canada, who just might be starting to get into his top tier form at this point in the season, as he is known to run not so fast in the beginning stages, and then absolutely slam everyone come the championship racing season. I honestly don't see a scenario where Arion Knighton does not win this race tomorrow. And if he can do what he has done all season, I think he's going to run yet another sub-20 second clocking, and this would only add to his unrelenting dominance in the all-time list for the junior division. With the World Championships now just around the corner, and the world's best athletes really starting to pick up the pace, I expect Arion Knighton to follow suit. And with this kind of championship season in mind, I want to hear from all of you. How fast do you think Arion Knighton will run tomorrow in Norway, and also how fast do you think he'll run for the remainder of 2023? Leave your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.